What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video and today I finally got it! I told you guys yesterday that one way or another I was getting this damn Donald Penn card. I've been looking forward to this thing for weeks now and oh baby! Look at these attributes. 85 speed, 97 catching, 98 run block strength, 98 catching traffic, it's 6 foot 5. If you think that there is a better tight end in this game, you are out of your freaking mind. Seriously, this, in my opinion, is the best card in the game. Not just the best tight end. And let's take a look at some gameplay footage because I'm going to show you why. Look at this thing as it's good as a pass catcher and it's also good as a blocker. It's actually, I mean, very clearly it's the best blocking tight end in the game. But... The fact that it can actually also catch passes makes it just out of freaking control. There's like no way that you can defend this thing because look at him. He's down the field making blocks 20 yards down the field sometimes. And look at him seal the edges on these runs. I mean, it's just ridiculous. There's hardly any way that you can keep up with him. Look at him as he just burns like a, I think that was a corner there. And this isn't just a solo challenge. This is a head-to-head -head seasons game against a good opponent. As you can see here, I'm actually losing in the game in this case. But part of that is because I just wanted to get some good gameplay with this Donald Penn card. So I was trying to throw to him and, you know, do things that I don't typically do by forcing the ball to a tight end and that kind of thing. But overall, look at this Donald Penn card because it's just an animal. Look at him picking up blocks down the field. He runs into me there. The awareness wasn't too high on my part on that play. But seriously... This card is everything that I expected it to be and more. And I only have one of them on my team. And if, if you look here, I've actually got two on the field. And watch this guy because he tried to overcommit to that right side. And just by having those guys on the field, I was able to just easily lob it over the top to Trinidad Holiday for a touchdown because he had to pull his safety over there to try and stop me. And when he doesn't pull his safety over there, look at this. These guys are just running down the field. Look at Donald Penn. He's almost catching me, for God's sake, on that run. The other tight end Donald Penn that I have is significantly slower, and it's still a really good run blocker. And uh, what I've been doing is actually having him be the inside tight end, as you see him there get that block. But it's not quite as good as this card. Because the speed isn't there, the, the impact block isn't quite as high, all those kind of things. Look at this. This guy actually run committed to the left there. And they still just picked up every single block and I still ran into the end zone untouched. That's how overpowered this thing can be as, as this guy rage quits. And I didn't blame him one bit because I would have rage quit after that as well. But so here's some more gameplay. And uh, this one is a little bit easier. I'm playing against the computer here, just trying to get some interesting gameplay with him. Um, so I can show you guys some combination of his skills, both both as a pass catcher and as a run blocker. So um, yeah, I tried to spin move there. Yeah, that didn't work out. His spin move isn't too high. But either way, though, he's still just crazy good as a receiver even. I, I mean, really, there aren't many receiving tight ends in this game that are better than Donald Penn. 85 speed is a little slow, but when you consider the fact that he's going to be the best blocker of all time at tight end, you can certainly make up for that. You can certainly afford to have him on the field, even if he's only 85 speed. So, like I said, guys... I, I knew this card was just going to be out of control. I'm so happy to have it on my team. I, I did pay, uh, I think, 240,000 coins for it. I think now it's going for right around 300,000 on uh, PlayStation 4. So overall, very, very happy with my purchase. I don't see myself getting rid of this card. If anything, I might add another one just to make it that much more ridiculous. But I also have been taking a look at this free safety Calvin Johnson card. And I'm seriously considering picking up that one as well because I just can't think of a better card to user control on defense. So with that said, I want to make sure that I give a shout out one more time to the guy who created this card, BU Tweezy, the PlayStation 4 winner of the Mutt Invitational. Thank you so much for making this card. It is so much fun to play with. You're the man. I really do appreciate it. So thank you again. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.